indeed. It is, it is a, a monumentally tricky thing. One would have thought that an area where, uh, well, some people have been suggesting this anyway, is an area where we might be able to deploy our military would be to kind of cut the head of the snake when it comes to these gangs, these human trafficking gangs, these people dealing in life. You know, they're the new Pablo Escobars, aren't they? He dealt in something that could change your life, and he's at this, these people now are dealing in human life, aren't they? And is there not a way that maybe we could utilise some of our special forces, maybe our SAS, for example, find out who these, these, these top dogs are, as it were, when it comes to these human trafficking gangs and go and get them? I think that you make a, an absolutely valid point. I think that's something that must be done. Unfortunately, because there's a demand, I go back to this point, as long as there's a demand of people wanting to get uh, to, uh, to Europe, wanting to get to the United Kingdom, then uh, those gangs will be replaced by other organizations wishing to fill that gap, will fill uh, the demand, meet the demand uh, that people want to actually depart. That's why I'm saying we need to focus on what is actually happening um, in other parts of the, of the world. If we actually, and these, it's actually not difficult, this is part of what Global Britain should be all about. The other debate we've had today is with our armed forces, the advancement of what our, how our defense posture should be. We've become too risk averse. Yemen, for example, that should have been sorted out years ago, and yet it still rumbles on. And so more people depart from there. Iraq, we've not invested properly there. We've decided to turn our backs on Afghanistan. So the West is somewhat to blame. And I just simply make the point that you know, what we've learned from COP26, um, you know, our fragile planet, the turnaround to repair this is done in decades. And we've got to brace ourselves for some massive changes in our way of life because of crop failures leading to mass food shortages, lands becoming too hot to live in. We're going to see mass migration on biblical scales. We think we've got a challenge right now. It's going to get so much bigger. It was David Attenborough who said, make no mistake, Climate change is the biggest security threat that modern humans have ever faced. And this is just starting uh, you know, to get going this decade.